Hey everybody, Marco here, and welcome to another Pencil Mark video. This is going to be a shorter one. It's a showcase solve, meaning I have solved this puzzle in the past, and I want to show this puzzle to all of you because I think it is really, really neat. This is a star battle puzzle by Jack Lance. You can sort of see this here. It's a screenshot of, I think, a penpa editor. You can see the border of the star battle puzzle here, and you can see the rules, and that's the entire puzzle that was posted. You don't actually get to see what is behind the rules, and I think that is just really, really cute. Jack Lance is a puzzle author who does a lot of really neat con conceptual, can I say conceptual puzzles, and releases a hunt on Pi Day each year on his blog. The last one was Jigsaw themed, so every single puzzle was in was a part of a huge I guess you could say three by three jigsaw with nine sub puzzles. It was really, really cool and if you like hunt puzzles you should try that out. But yeah, just a lot of really really neat puzzles with a twist here. Yeah, in this case this is a star battle puzzle. If you do not know the rules of Star Battle, I have not had Star Battle on this channel yet. The rules are simple. Usually there's, I guess for a 10 by 10 puzzle, there's 10 regions, and you place two stars in every row, column, and region. Kind of like how you'd place one number in each row, column, and region in Sudoku. And the other thing is that no two stars can touch orthogonally or diagonally. That is basically it, and some pretty neat logic comes out of that. But yeah, in this case, not only do we not know where the stars are, of course, we, we have to figure that out, we also don't know what the grid is besides the outside lines. So that's like the puzzle that we've got in front of us. I've transcribed the grid lines over to Penpa here, and let's get started. So the first thing is, because Star Battles you need to put two stars in each region and they cannot touch orthogonally, so each region has to be at least three big in one direction. Either three um, vertical or three horizontal. So we've got to expand each of these borders here to fit three. I'm going to use a, a bit of coloring here. So for example, this bit in the corner definitely has to go down. You cannot draw an edge here because it would be bad. It's got to go down. It can't go here because then this edge is just like a little one edge inside that doesn't really form a correct looking region. So we do actually have an edge here, for example. We can draw this out here. We can see all of these go out and they're all going to have edges in between them too. So these top four all go out at least one to extend to a size of three. Here we see at the top this is also being quartered in. And now we have to close this off. So this is our first region here, and we can only place the two stars in those positions. They have no neighbors here. The purple bit that we have and the blue bit that we have both want to extend into this cell. And yeah, neither of them have uh, stars in them, so we can actually paint these the same color here. With the um, orange and brown here, they extend one both. Blue needs to go down now to take more, which means we can... Uh, 
we have red as an enclosed region. That's going to get two stars. This gives us all the stars in the first and third columns, as well as all stars in the fourth row. So we can X all of this out. We can do a similar thing to the top at the bottom, where, let's say this is blue, this is red, this is green. Uh, of course, it's not the same colors as above, just we have limited color palette here in Penpa. These one by twos will have borders between them as well, and we will extend these. The blue region has to go out at least a little bit more here because it needs to take two stars and it can't take any in the first column because those are all X'd. So this continues to grow over like this. Since green needs to go up and also go to the yeah, since green needs to go up, we have to enclose red. Green cannot go to the right because that would enclose pink to a one by two. So we actually have green connecting to the blue region at the bottom. Red has these two stars, which satisfies this column. Pink needs to go out. It can't connect to either of the yellow or the blue. So we have this. And then the blue here needs to go out because it can't connect to either pink. This yellow needs to go out a bit still. Blue needs to go out here. However, we don't know if these two connect or if there's an edge in between them. Both of those are still options. One thing to note in Star Battle, usually this is what I look out for. I look out for a two by two of cells that cannot be contain a star. Because if there's cells that cannot contain a star here, then the options where a star can be contained are sort of pushed into the rest here. So the left most two by two in rows five and six, neither of those can contain a star. So that means in each of the other two by twos in columns three and four and five and six and seven, eight and nine and 10, each of those contains a star. We can go a little bit further and say that because one and I mean because column three does not contain a star there the stars in the these columns are pushed to four six eight ten same thing applies for column six and seven here it's also in four six eight ten specifically we do need a star in this position because we cannot have one in the row above. And the other is it's either the two stars being in rows five and seven or in row six, like so. We can say a similar thing about rows two and three, where the first two columns are blocked off, but we can't make that same argument with the squeezing yet. We can do an edge here between the yellow and pink, and that makes pink extendable by one, meaning we can do an edge here. Since there is one star that we have now in column four, that means we can't close this region off at the bottom because it would only contain one star. So this extends one to the right. That means yellow needs to go out. That squeezes orange like so. That means yellow goes up. 
that puts a star in this position and this position for pink. Oh yeah, um, there's the dots and right click, so I, I will add some of those too. A dot means one of these four positions has a star, and in this case it's one of these two positions. Blue and yellow both extend one here, so they resolve to the same color. Whoops. We do still have orange and brown here, but for the star battle, the eighth and the tenth row are occupied, so these are all blocked off too. That means we can have the same blocked two by two argument looking down the sixth and seventh columns. There's a star here, and there's stars in these two positions. One thing I do want to note is that the, the unoccupied 2x2 two two argument only works for a certain parity. So it, it would only work if it's the first and second, or the third and fourth, or the fifth and sixth in a 10x10. Ten ten. It would not work if it is two and three, for example, because you could place four on the right side and one on the left side still. Right. We do have a star that has to be in one of these two positions still. I should also draw these regions in. We know these are all the same region because they do not share. There's no border between them. Because there's a star in column five, row eight here, in the orange region at the top of column five, we can only place one star in the three cells that we have. So this extends down and needs to extend to the right somehow. We've got to draw our edge here between blue and orange, meaning that the blue extends into yellow. So we make all this blue. The blue does need to extend out a bit to grab one more star meaning we wall this off. That makes the orange extend out a little bit more. And the pink as well. Brown, I do believe, needs to extend at least a little bit too. While we can still place two stars in those positions, they would completely block off column five, meaning we definitely need to go at least one right. That extends purple too. Oh, yeah. One thing is with the column six and seven deduction, we've, we do know that there's going to be a star in either this position or this position in row one, meaning we've got to X all this out. So the red region here, that needs to grow a little bit more. We need to go down two and at least and we do have to go a little bit more because right now it still can only take one star. Edges are here. This purple wants to go down a bit and this encloses what we have as brown. So that gives us a star in this position. We get our column five star here and that pushes the star to the right here. 
purple needs to go down. Purple and orange can still be the same here because they border on a corner. We can have a line here or we can't or we have the option not to. But yeah, in fact, because the blue blocks the orange off here, they connect. I'm gonna make this orange. We said red has to go down a little bit. Because there's two stars in the third row, we move this up to the second row here. And now we only have two positions where stars can go in column nine. That gives us only two positions for stars in column 10, as well as column eight. And we have our final star position here in column six. So now we actually have all star placements done. The only thing that's left for us to do is to figure out the region divisions so that each region contains two stars. Purple on the right, that's got two stars, so it can't connect to this one at the bottom. Orange at the top, that needs one more, so it takes this at least. Currently, our enclosed regions are... I'll recolor the, the small ones green. So we have one, two at the top left, three, four at the bottom left, five on the top right-ish. We have our pink region here which I guess it is completed because the blue region needs to go down. Uh, I will recolor this real quick here because we don't know for sure that the blue regions connect yet. Orange goes out, it does not connect to yellow, it does not connect to brown. Meaning brown needs to go up here. So orange needs to go up. Yeah, and now um, the yellow thing that we have on the bottom, that's got a, this makes one big blue region here. And that needs to connect to two stars still. Only way to do that is to go to the right here. Well, okay, one step at a time. First of all, the brown and the red regions, they both need to still extend to get more stars, and that does mean they end up touching and making one giant region here. And then we can say that the blue bit on the left, needs to take two stars still, and the only way to do that is to connect to the formerly red bits. And that gives us a solved star battle, made with only the star battle rules and the border given here. It's pretty insane that that was actually possible, and... <laughs> That was a very, very nice puzzle set by Jack Lance. And yeah, I, I said this would be a shorter video, but it's like 19 minutes, whoops. Anyways, uh, have a ni nice day and I'll see you around. I'll try to do more of these solve showcase videos here, even if it's for puzzles that I have already solved just because I think they're really neat and I wanna show them to y'all. Bye-bye.